LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Folks, you know, I want to talk about this. I, I can't even say U.S. versus U.K. rivalry when it comes to Wilder Joshua. It's, it, it's really LDBC versus U.K. Um, and here go the thing, man. Let me go ahead and just break the video down. Y'all just listen, okay? Just listen to the video. Um, a lot of the U.S. fans don't really roll with Wilder. You know, the only people that really roll with Wilder is the LDBC. And you might have a few here and there on the outskirts of the LDBC that will roll with Wilder, but that's it. That's it. We're the only organization that roll with Wilder, just about. And see, you know, I find that kind of interesting because the LDBC is comprised up of majority, you know, young black men. Okay? Between the ages of 30 and 40, I mean, that's what the LDBC is comprised of. Now, you know, I find it, you know, really ironic, you know. And people say, well, I don't like Wilder for this reason. I don't like Deontay Wilder. And, you know, some people legitimately, legitimately don't like Wilder. And that's okay, you know. Some people that, that just legitimately don't like him. And they like another fighter instead of Wilder. See, I understand though, I understand that because those are actual boxing fans. Those are real, true-to-form boxing fans. They're, they're real, okay? They're very real. And they, have, they don't like Wilder because they don't want Wilder to beat their favorite fighter. See, I get that. That's boxing. That's boxing one-on-one. But when you think about, you know, all the non-black, the majority of the non-black U.S. fans they can't roll with Wilder and you don't really have a legitimate reason is because you don't like him or you hate his resume now there's a problem because if Wilder's resume is the issue for why you don't really like him and you won't support him then you know how are you going to explain Gennady Golovkin how are you going to explain that his resume wasn't so great but you know a lot of you guys supported him how are you going to explain that how are you going to explain Vasily Lomachenko? You know, he's got, what, 11 pro fights, and people are already dubbing this guy the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. How are you going to explain that? We can play how you going to explain that all day long, guys. We can play that game all, year, all day. But I'm just saying, it don't make sense. He's American. He, he's, an American he's an American champion, okay? But see, now this is where we come in about the word America and American. <laughs> one nation under God, right? It's not one nation. It's one nation divided. It's one nation divided under the gods that you worship. Folks, that's what we got. It's divided. And that's the culture of America. You know, I'm going to tell you what, what I like about the UK. What I really love about the UK is that most of them don't really care what color the fighter is. You got some that's stupid. Most of them could give a crap about what color that fighter is. They support them because the guy's from the UK. He living in the UK, and they gonna roll with the UK fighter if it's from any other place. If it's a UK fighter versus some a fighter from another place, the UK fighter gonna roll with that fighter. They they don't care about the color. Okay, the UK don't care about that. See, only in America, man. Only here in America is that people. They always want to look at what the person looks like. You know, they they got this list of things that they just they look for. And instead of looking for the jab or looking for a person with a good uppercut or a good right cross or a good hook, they're looking at, you know, you know how big the person nipple is. You know, like, God, man, it's just ridiculous things, man, that people are looking for. The U.K. people, they're not looking at that, man. These people want to see people bang it out. They want to see people fight. The real U.K. fans. I'm not talking about the people that, you know, they got angry at the LDBC because, you know, look, we just really wanted to see Joshua and Wilder fight. And it's nothing, you know, I, I respect, you know, a lot of the U.K. fans, man. Respect them guys because they're about that boxing. And it's no hard feelings at the end of the day. I'm going to tell you, man, you know, when I get in an argument or I disagree with MBT boxing, you know what happens? Absolutely nothing. Nothing happens. We go right back to the way we were. <laughs> when I disagree with anybody, when I disagree with 78, do you know what happens? Nothing. This whole thing, man, that the LDBC is ruining boxing and doing this, man, no, man, the LDBC is good for boxing. That's a lie, man. That's a straight-up lie. See, I, you know, why, why won't people ever address, really, really ever address the side that's, you know, pretty much anti-Wilder? Like, why, why won't we do that? I mean, it's a lot of people that's anti-Wilder. It's a lot of situations where folks become anti-Wilder. Why don't we ever address that? Like, why, why won't we ever go in and really take a good look at people that's constantly making videos about Wilder? Like, it's crazy. 
but I get it. But we're the only ones that's biased. See, that word bias, that's a word. And then you'll have the people in the comment section saying facts. <laughs> facts, what facts? Are the facts the facts that, that you believe? I mean, honestly, are the facts are the facts the facts that you have in your head? Or are they the real facts? Because the facts are, man, like, listen. <laughs> who is supposed to support Wilder? I mean, y'all just answer the question. Who's supposed to support him? If people dislike us supporting him, who's supposed to who's supposed to actually give the man some damn support? Who? Who's supposed to do it, y'all? Who is who is honestly on God's green earth supposed to support Deontay Wilder? I mean, what 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 is everybody supposed to hate his guts? Does everybody have to, you know, you know, just take part in, in the wilder bashing? Do we have to? Folks, my only issue with Joshua is when he said, you know what, I don't want to fight him till 2020. You know, after that, I didn't have any more issues with the guy. That's it. I didn't make any video responses to anybody. I didn't come out and bash anybody. Man, I don't do that. I, you know, I rarely make a video response to anybody. It, it'll have to be something like severe for me to even do it. And these days, in this era of where I'm at with my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm not trying to do that anyway. I'm not really trying to do that. That's that's not my bread and butter. I, I don't really get down with doing YouTube video responses because they're pointless. And it's a bunch of back and forth where people take back and forth. People get mis all the information you say misconstrued. And that just makes the problem worse. But you know, I mean, good grief, man. That's the question. Who's supposed to like Deontay Wilder? I know why the UK people don't like him because they like they, they like their UK fans. I get that. But what about, you know, I thought everybody loved this country. Everybody, hey, one nation under God. Everybody loved this country. But then when it comes to, okay, what about Deontay Wilder? Well, you know, I don't like it. I don't like his resume. I don't like his attitude. I don't like this. I don't like that. I can't stand all this. I can't. What about the way the man fights? He's exciting. He's not the most technical guy, but he get knockouts. But I'm going to be real with y'all. The main people that I see that really, they're anti-wilder people, they're very anti. It's always some white dude behind the computer screen just bashing them. Like what? For what, man? For what? And, and you can say, well, with LDBC, they biased. They, they don't like black fighters. But how you going to explain Tyson Fury? A lot of us roll with Tyson Fury. I do. <laughs> what about Mikey Garcia? Folks, that, that argument is very, it's invalid. It don't even hold water. What, we're a gang mentality? We're a cult mentality? No, we're an organization. What is it, man, when black people really want to get together, and we know what it is. When black people want to get together, it's called a gang or a co. Why, why can't we be an organization? Why? And I'm not talking to everybody, man. Look, man, if I, I rock with a lot of people, man. I rock with a lot of people, and you know who you are. I rock with y'all. So you, it, this, this not even about any of y'all that I rock with. And I'm not talking about the people that's got honest opinions and you, your opinions are pretty much, everybody buys, but, every, you know, some people call it more straight down the middle than others. And I'm not talking about y'all. I'm not talking about y'all. So please don't think that I'm, 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 I'm talking about you. I'm calling, I'm not, I don't call, I'm not calling you out. I'm calling nobody out on video. I'm just looking at something that I see a perception. And then people, you know, used to coach, man, why are you rocking? Why are you with the LDBC? I mean, man, you got to, the LDBC is negative against everything you stand for. Really? It is? But the LDBC is negative against everything I stand for. Unity, unity amongst my culture? I mean, that that's negative? I mean, see, I'm trying to understand. Why? I'm trying to understand, like, why, why, why do people, what is it? Why, why is it so bad that? I want to roll with this particular group. Why? Why, y'all? It is what it is, y'all. Well, you know, you're not your own. You, you don't think for yourself when, you, when you're with them. Yeah, I do. I mean, if I don't think for myself, then why the hell am I doing women's MMA? I mean, folks, hell, I, I think I'm one of the only channels that consistently report on some type of MMA. How you going to explain that? See, folks, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. 
this, this the kind of crap that I'm talking about, y'all. Like, I, I don't, man. You know, shout out to the to the UK fans, man. Shout out to you guys. That you guys are all for the boxing, man. Shout out for you guys. You guys, you guys are good fans. You're awesome. We've had some legendary, you know, back and forth in the comment section. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys. Because you guys really embody what boxing is, man. And shout out to the LDBC, man, that want to see the best fight the best. I think that's that's our whole goal, and that's always been our goal, and we're going to maintain that goal, and that's just the way that is. I'm done.